I'm presenting to you today a newer version of my tri gyrock rocket. This one here is very similar to the one that I've already posted on this uh, website, but it's an improved version, so I wanted to go over those improvements, and there's some new uh, 3D printing techniques that were implemented on this rocket as well. So first of all, I made the fin area, the, the flaps that flip out to provide the helicopter recovery, uh, a little bit larger and also flat to make it easier to print. Uh, the nose cone is made out of TPU, so it's a uh, soft plastic. It's plastic, you can see, very flexible and it's blunt uh, because this rocket comes down nose first and so having a unbreakable soft cushioning nose cone on the front is, is, is important. Um, because the nose cone is short, I made the body a little bit longer here. And then the other improvements are as I move the position of the spring somewhat, get uh, a better angle on the, on the uh, ejection of the fins. And also the biggest improvement is the hinges are completely 3D printed. Before I 3D printed part of the hinge and then used a piano wire through the hinge sections that were printed on each, each side of the flaps. But now it's all one piece. So there's only, the rocket is only three parts. The red part here, including these fins that are flexible, and you'll see that here in a minute. The second part is the blue. Just, it's just a body tube with a payload section into, into it. And then it separates at the nose cone. It doesn't separate the nose cone. It doesn't separate at all. And then the nose cone here. Um, the nose cone is removable, so you can put stuff inside for the payload. And then there's the fourth part here, which is uh, what I call the motor carriage. So it takes a, an Estes uh, D125 motor, and the carriage holds the flaps into place when it's loaded for launch. And so here we go. I'm going to demonstrate this. As the motor ejects, you'll see that the fins pop out like that and then it comes down as a helicopter turning like this. Of course it turns vertically like this and it comes down. The motor that's ejected, it's got a streamer that unrolls and it comes down by a streamer and you can recover and refly the streamer and the yellow motor carriage. So you pull the motor out, put in a new motor. Okay, so um, now as far as the hinges goes, you can see here that it's all 3D printed, all one part, and so it's very flexible. And, um, and then with that spring, it pops right back in place. And there's also the way the uh, interface was designed here is this, this part of the edge of the fin butts up against here and it stops it exactly where it needs to be for the helicopter recovery along the whole length of the fin. All that's printed in one single part, uh, including the, the hinge, as you can see, is, is thin PLA plus plastic. And that'll, you can make this go back and forth, you know, hundreds and hundreds of times before it's ever gonna wear out. So it's actually a very simple way to do this. And the big advantage is that um, you can really go from printer to launch pad directly. Once the three, the three parts, you know, plus the cradle here for the motor, once that's printed out, you just put, snap them together and take it to launch pad. There's no gluing, no painting, no sanding, no drilling. And even the hinges are ready to go right off the printer. Okay, that's what I wanted to show you.